Ready? One. It's recorded, baby. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Carmen, and I'm going to do a small tutorial on how to make arroz con gandule, okay? So this is what you need. You need, I have sofrito in here, okay, which is made with uh, um, cilantro, onions, garlic, green peppers, um, recao, and all that stuff. Just grind it together, and I freeze it and put it in cubes. So I put it in here since it was frozen, and I am going to uh, put it in here. So you're going to need some oil, okay? Then you're going to throw this in there. You want it to sizzle, okay? So, and then just move it around till it starts sizzling, okay? Yes, I like a lot of sofrito because it gives it that good sofrito flavor, let me tell you. So I'm going to let that sizzle a little bit, okay? And uh, what else am I going to put on there? Hold on, guys. Stay right there. Okay, I'm not going to put no kind of meat. Normally, we put some ham or whatever you want to put in there as far as a meat, sausage, chorizo, whatever, you know. But I'm going to do it with just the gandules since we do have a need cooking in the oven. So, all right. So now, we're going to put, I'm going to put, this is what we use. They're called green pigeon peas. And since, like I said, it's just for me and my fiance for two people, I'm only going to put half of can, okay? I like gandules, but I don't want to get a bite of just gandule in, in my mouth. So I'm going to throw that in there. Also going to put, see how it's starting to sizzle, guys? That's exactly what you want, okay? And then I'm going to put some olives in there. You know what? Let me cut them. Stay right there, guys, okay? I'm going to... You know what? I'll put them in. There's only a couple left, and I'm not making a big batch of them. So that's what you want. It's sizzling in there. That's exactly what you want, okay? Then I want some pepper in there. Okay, pepper, put a little bit of uh, minced onions, any kind of minced onion, no specific uh, flavor, okay? And let me tell you guys, the aroma that you will smell just by uh, cooking the sofrito is amazing. Put some adobo, this is to give it flavor, okay? All purpose adobo from the Goja. And, uh, okay, we got the pepper. Now we got to give it some coloring. So I'm going to use the sazon. This the only one left, baby? I think so, right? Okay, let's see. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to put the package in. The sazon goya. Or you could get it at the dollar store like that. But I tend to gravitate to this better. I don't know, for some reason, I think this one gives it a better color. Okay, so we're going to stir that so it doesn't burn to the bottom. Okay. Mmm, it smells amazing, guys. Okay, that's done. I'm going to put a little bit more. I like my rice to have color. All right, so next, you're going to taste it to see... Just a little bit, okay? And see how it tastes. It needs a little bit more flavoring. So, but I'm gonna—I don't like to put salt in my food, so I put more adobo in there, okay? So then, move it around. Wash your rice. I'm gonna wash my rice, okay? Wash my rice. all that funky white stuff out 
tend to do it twice. I put two cups and a half of rice for this um, batch. Okay. And so let me put the uh, tomato sauce in there now. Or half, I think half a can is good for this, for this, uh, The aroma is just amazing, guys, on this. I'm gonna put a little bit of water, okay? I don't like to have a mess when I'm cooking, so I'm gonna cook and clean, guys. All right, so let this spoil a little bit there. And I'm gonna take my rice, I already washed it, as you saw, and I'm gonna throw it in there, okay? So, we're gonna see we need more water. You just move everything around together. And we're definitely gonna need more water, okay? So, you know, you want the water to be at least two finger, um, at least an inch above above the rice okay so we're gonna get more water and I'm gonna pour it in there okay at least an inch above the rice and you guys got to be careful because some rice the long rice the long grain rice uh, is it tends to want more water so you have the short grain, put less water. So this one here, I'm going to, okay, put that much water. And I'm going to taste it because, let me see how it tastes, guys, okay? Now, because I pour water in there, it needs more. I'm going to put more adobo in there, okay? You season it to your taste, guys. You, there's no measuring here. I never measure anything when I'm cooking Spanish food because we do it to our tasting. So we taste a lot. Okay, we tend to taste a lot. I mean, we don't put the spoon in our, in our mouth and then put it back in there. Just put a little bit of whatever it is in your hand and taste it. Okay, so now... I think it, tell me how you think, baby, how it tastes. Mm. It's good. It tastes good. It's not okay. salt or anything? Okay. All right. So then we're going to cover this, guys. Okay. We're going to cover this. And once it's dried a little bit, I will, I will be putting these banana leaves on top of the rice because it gives it a good flavoring when this is like... Uh, Steamed. When it's steamed on top of the rice, it tastes really good. So once I'm done with that, I will come back to you guys and show you the end results. Okay. Hi guys. Well, so you, so you guys see how it's boiling. Now what we're gonna do is bring down the, bring this down to uh, at least a six, and then we're gonna move it around so the rice cooks evenly. Okay. So we're going to move it. See how it's starting to dry up and stuff, guys? So that's exactly what we want. We got to bring down the, the, uh, and then now we're going to put these on there, okay? So that way it steams and it gives it the flavor that we want. Okay. All right. There we go. So we're going to leave it like that. And we're going to come back to it. Okay. So we're going to leave it at, let's leave it at five. Okay. And I'll Hi guys. Well, I am going to move these because I have to uh, move the rice around. Okay. See how it's dried up and stuff so we don't want it to burn so 
We're going to move it around again. Okay, it normally takes about, I would say about 30 minutes, okay, until it's fully cooked and dried and the way you want it to, to be. So, see how it's uh, fluffing up and, and it smells amazing, guys. Okay, so we are going to, we moved it around, so we're going to put, we're going to put these back on there, okay? I mean, this is a little bit extra, but you know, if you want that flavor in there, you Puerto Ricans that know about arroz con gandule, let me tell you. And those that are not Puerto Rican, because a lot of American people too know, and they taste and they like to taste, so that's it guys. And I turned it down a little bit more to, okay, because as, as it cooks, the you just push it, you know, uh, lower the fire more because you don't want your rice to burn. So we're gonna leave it there until it's done, okay? So that's it for now, guys. Hi guys, welcome back. So our rice is done. We're going to move it around, take these off. Okay, and as you guys can see, it's dried and it's fluffy, and that's exactly what we want in our rice. And this is it for now, guys. Okay, uh, well, thank you for tuning in, and I hope that you guys, if you have any questions, please don't, you know, feel free to comment below. And uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to tutorial you how to make arroz con gandule. And I hope this was to your satisfaction. And have a happy Thanksgiving to all my peeps out there. And stay blessed and prayed up, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.